Hey guys, I would like to welcome you to a new electronic series that I plan to start with this new video. It could be unboxing electronic equipment, fixing electronic devices, or anything involving electronics. Today we'll be unboxing this. We will be unboxing this digital microscope. The model of this microscope is G1200. This has a 7 inch LCD screen. In the box it says it can magnify from 1 to 1200 times. This is a plug in microscope. Uh, other versions is battery powered. You can also record video with this device using a micro SD card. One thing I found though that the video files are .mov format so they are a bit large. So opening the box, there is that huge LCD screen microscope and the manual which I will provide a photo of in the end of this video. Underneath the LCD screen is the power cable. It's a USB type. And next is the metal stand. As you can see, I found a plastic piece that came off out of somewhere and I was looking where it might have come out from. When seeing that, I hope that nothing is wrong with the device. Along with the metal base is a metal support. The LCD screen goes on top of the support as you can see here. There are these metal pegs that you screw in to secure the microscope. It allows you to raise or lower the microscope or turn it left and right as well as lock it. When assembling the bottom base I found that I was not able to turn it upright so that it can receive the metal stand. I had to find some pliers around the house to loosen the nut. At one point there I thought I broke it but it held up. After fiddling with it and I got it at a good height, I placed the microscope on the stand. Side view, it shows you how high it can go from the base it's about six inches what I thought was a protective plastic on the LCD screen was just a tab after further inspection it looks like the screen has been scratched a bit as you can see and I think the microscope may be been used at one point I was going to return this item but overall it's a great buy in the end though, those are minor scratches and I found that the microscope worked as described. Plugging in the micro USB cord to the back turns on the device. I was excited what to try first and the closest thing I found was a quarter. As you can see, the middle knob adjusts the focus of the image. I was fairly impressed with the quality of the magnification. You can clearly see how detailed the image is. Pressing the menu button shows the following screen. Pressing it again shows the following page. The main purpose of buying this microscope is micro soldering. Here is a motherboard from a Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP. Stay tuned for future videos where I fix this board. I found that the fuse in this board is broken. Today however, we'll just see how good the microscope can zoom in into the board. As you can see, it is very clear. There is four times digital magnification in this microscope. With four times magnification and bringing the microscope as close to the board as it can, this is how close the microscope can zoom in. 
there are other reviews out there and they've concluded that there is 100 total magnification on this microscope. The 1 to 1200 times magnification as advertised is not present from what I've seen. Overall though, I believe that this microscope meets the requirements for what I intend to use it for. Moving the microscope as far from the base as I can, this is its magnification. Overall, I like this microscope. It meets the requirements of my projects. It has a big 7-inch LCD screen with no lag, clear video recording, bright LED, and overall the build quality is very sturdy. This microscope was purchased in Amazon for $50 and I think it's a great buy. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and stay tuned for my next video. I will be unboxing a hot air solder gun and testing it out as well. Stay tuned!